Bonjour, let's have a look on how to ask questions using the French word combien, which means how much or how many. Now, let's have a look at this word, combien, combien. Now, we've got two ways of asking questions for how much and how many, okay? The word is combien, but you would use combien only if you wanted to ask how much, okay? But if you wanted to ask a question using how many, you would say combien de, okay? Now, combien and combien de are interrogative adverbs used to ask questions about quantities, price, dimensions, weight, numbers, okay? So, I repeat, combien means how much and combien de means how many. Okay, so what I'd like you to, to do now is with me, we are going to have a look at a few examples on using combien and combien de. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is have a look at this. Combien ça coûte? Combien ça coûte? You must have heard that before or maybe used it when in your holiday in France, for example, or if you live in France. Combien ça coûte? And that means how much? How much does it cost? Okay, literally. Combien ça coûte? How much? Combien ça coûte? Now, another way of saying how much, you could say, Combien est-ce que ça coûte? Now, using est-ce que. Remember, if you have been following the series on asking questions, you will know that est-ce que we use all the time. So, Combien est-ce que ça coûte? How much does it cost? Ça coûte combien? Ça coûte combien? It costs how much? Ça coûte combien? C'est combien? It is how much? C'est combien? Okay, so all these sentences, have a look at them again. They all mean how much. So, combien ça coûte? Combien est-ce que ça coûte? Ça coûte combien? C'est combien? Okay, now the word coûte, uh, the verb coûte means to cost. Okay, coûter. Right. So we know how to say how much. You're prepared now to go to French market and haggle your way. Ça coûte combien? Non, c'est trop cher. It is too expensive. C'est trop cher. Okay. Now, if you wanted to say how much is this book, for example, you would say combien coûte ce livre? Combien coûte ce livre? And again, you're using the word coûte. Okay. How much does this book cost? Okay. How much cost is this book, in effect. So, combien coûte ce livre? Okay. Ou combien ce livre coûte-t-il? Okay, this one is a little tricky. Combien ce livre coûte-t-il? I mean, this book here. How much is it? This book, ce livre. Combien est-ce que ce livre coûte? That's another way of asking the question. Combien est-ce que ce livre coûte? Okay. And another way, ce livre Il coûte combien? This book. It costs how much? Okay. Now, il coûte, il refers to the book. It's a he because it's a masculine word. So, have a look at this again. Combien coûte ce livre? Combien ce livre coûte-t-il? Combien est-ce que ce livre coûte? Et ce livre, il coûte combien? Okay. Different ways of asking questions. Please, Try to choose one that you are the most confident with, okay? That the one that does not confuse you as much as the others. I would, if I were you, go for combien est-ce que, always, okay? Why? Because after that, you put a sentence which is not in the wrong order, if you wish, okay? So, combien est-ce que ce livre coûte? If you know how to say ce livre coûte, then all you have to do in front of it, you would put combien est-ce que? Combien est-ce que ce livre coûte? How much is this book? Okay? And you do that for all the questions we've learned before. For qui, for pourquoi, for comment, and so on. Comment est-ce que? Qui est-ce que? Pourquoi est-ce que? Okay? Now, let's have a look at uh, the second way of asking how, how many. Okay? So, we've learned that we have two ways used to use combien. Combien as in how much and combien de is how many. So, if you have de at the, uh, after combien, you know that we're asking how many and not how much. So, for example, you could say, Combien d'élèves y a-t-il dans cette classe? 
Combien d'élèves y a-t-il dans cette classe? Ok. Now, combien d'élèves? How many students? Pupils, d'élèves. You will note if that D has an apostrophe here because we drop the E because élève begins with a vowel. Ok, so, combien d'élèves y a-t-il dans cette classe? Y a-t-il is a weird one. It's il y a the other way around. Ok, so, il y a means there is or there are. So, how many pupils are there in this class? Combien est-ce qu'il y a d'élèves dans cette classe? And then it becomes easier. That is a bit what I've said earlier on. Is that if you're not confident with inverting all these verbs and subjects, please use the normal sentence and add combien and then est-ce que. Ok, so combien est-ce qu'il y a d'élèves dans cette classe? So you will notice that il y a, there is, and then we put the de afterwards. Ok? Combien est-ce qu'il y a d'élèves dans cette classe? Now, this is quite a tough example, okay? One tougher than others. But I wanted you to, to find out and, and know that we have such a complicated way of asking how many, okay? Now, using the same sentence, you could say, Il y a combien? There is how many d'élèves dans cette classe? There is how many pupils in this class? Now, it's all about the intonation here, okay? Now, the intonation, il y a combien d'élèves dans cette classe? Is the fact that uh, the fact that you are going up in the intonation means that it is a question. It's a more fun use in conversation, not in writing, okay? So, now this is quite simple. How many students are there in the classroom, okay? Um, but you could equally say, combien de pommes as-tu? How many apples have you got? Combien de pommes as-tu? Ok, that's simpler. Combien de pommes as-tu? Combien de pommes est-ce que tu as? Ok, combien de pommes est-ce que tu as? Now, when you're going to try to make your own example, please try to make it simple to start with and then develop it if you're confident with how you conjugate a verb. Now, talking about conjugating a verb in the passé composé, for example, using the same question, combien, you could say, combien cette maison a-t-elle coûté? Now, how much did this house cost? Okay, again, you can see it very clearly when you put est-ce que afterwards. Combien est-ce que cette maison a coûté? Combien est-ce que cette maison a coûté? How much? Did this house cost? Okay. Combien est-ce que cette maison a coûté? Okay. Now, cette maison a coûté combien? That's another way of asking the question. Cette maison a coûté combien? Okay. Remember, choose the best way for you, uh, the, the one that you are the most confident with. Again, you've got to be aware of different ways of asking questions because you're going to hear them, okay? doesn't matter the way you choose your own question. It might be just one method, but you will hear a lot of different ways of asking questions in French, okay? So, combien cette maison a-t-elle coûté? How much did this house cost? Okay, again, elle refers to la maison because maison is a she. It's a feminine word, okay? Now, let's use another passé composé using... Combien de this time. Remember, combien de means how many, not how much. Okay. Combien de bonbons as-tu mangé? Combien de bonbons as-tu mangé? So, how many sweets have you eaten? Okay. Combien de bonbons as-tu mangé? How many sweets have you eaten? Another one. Combien de bonbons est-ce que tu as mangé? Again, the est-ce que comes after combien de here, ok? Uh, combien de bonbons, ok? Est-ce que tu as mangé? Combien de bonbons est-ce que tu as mangé? Or, tu as mangé combien de bonbons? And you've eaten how many sweets? Combien de bonbons? Ok? So, we're using combien de, using a passé composé here, ok? Right, that's my lesson on combien and combien de. Are we confident with this? Yeah, they say confidently. Why don't you watch this video again? Okay, it's always better to watch it again and have a look at the way we place all these words, okay? And practice 
practice, practice and practice even more. Leave a comment using your own example and I'll see whether it's correct or not. Okay, we all make mistakes anyway. I do all the time. Okay. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and why don't you have a look at learnfrenchwithalexa.com. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous.